All right, Waddy. Guess what we're going to smoke? <laughs> Out here in the sunlight. This is a uh, Padron Family Reserve. It's got the hammer. And it's a 50 year. Now, this is going to be different from the other 50 year that we have in that beautiful collector's humidor. So we'll take a look at that. But before we do that, we'll do our traditional, and we'll get the Havana smoker on. Uh, traditional watch check here. We've got the lion from uh, Grand Seiko. You can see that beautiful lion uh, design in there. And uh, hey, we even got boots on today. So I'm going to do a boot check today. I did a rare boot review. I'm going to try to get back into those. These are the uh, Lucchese Giant Crocodile uh, Cognac. It's a beautiful uh, crocodile alligator boot. And uh, happy to be able to fit back on again. So we're out here in a festive mood. We got our Cabo t-shirt on. Guardians uh, no, they lost last night. We're still so happy with them. We got Waddy who's just enjoying waiting for me to find his uh, Frisbee. So anyway, let's take a look at the uh, the other Padron 50 and then we'll do we'll do a review of this guy. I don't know if I did a review of the other uh, one that's in the humidor. I may have, but if not, I'll have to do that. So let's uh, walk back to that humidor. So again, this is the, uh, it's got the hammer, the 1964 Family Reserve 50 year, different from the uh, cigars that are in this collector's humidor, also has the hammer, uh, the hygrometer is upside down, and we have some of the 50 years left, we have the natural and the Maduro. Now, I did smoke through a lot of these. You can see the red label. That's the original that came with it. I picked up some other ones afterwards. But you can tell, you know, if we're looking at this one, uh, Maduro. So we'll pull out a Maduro here. And you can see size-wise the difference. Just about the same on uh, width, but significantly bigger is this. Um, I don't know what I'd call this, but this is the actual 50 year humidor edition. So, um, different cigar. They, they do taste pretty similar. I'll do maybe a taste test of both, but we'll, we'll try this smaller 50 year. We'll do a review of that. I think it's a great cigar. You can find this one uh, more regularly in your cigar shop than you'll find these bigger ones. So a price point uh, right around 30 bucks for this, uh, right around 50 bucks uh, for for the uh, Humidor Edition one, if you can find it. So, so let's uh, light this baby up and see how it is. All right, so while he's waiting for a frisbee toss, but uh, we're gonna get this baby lit up here. All right, so square, box press. It's typical with for drone. Perfect draw. Great smoke. Um, different flavor. Certainly strong. Um, it, it's it is similar. To that longer 50 year if I recall it's a, it's a similar uh, taste profile although 
that one is a different blend, I believe. Um, tastes different. Better. It's one of the best cigars you ever have is that 50-year um, anniversary model. Uh, what about this one? It's close. It's really good. Little trick here, it's, you know, shorter, but it'll last. I mean, I think I uh, you know, typically get an hour out of these, so construction is good. You know, it doesn't burn real quick. Burn true. See all that white smoke. It's a great cigar. It's a little thicker than, than maybe it looks. The box press might be a tad bit bigger than the, uh, you know, in terms of uh, ring gauge. I guess I could look it up, but I'm not. So, anyway, if you get a chance, I definitely would uh, highly recommend this 50 year. I mean, it's hard to go into a cigar shop and drop 30 or more dollars on a single stick, right? But every now and then, the occasion calls for it or it's worth it or just in the mood. And if you're going to do it, you're not going to be disappointed if you uh, decide to do the uh, Padron 50 year, that's for sure. So, yeah, great cigar. So give it a thumbs up, two thumbs up. You know, this is a mid-90s rated cigar, so anyway. All right, I appreciate you uh, watching my videos and uh, all the support in the comments, and uh, we'll see you soon.